Hey guys, welcome with John here at Farmer Freak, bringing you the best when it comes to uh, raising broiler birds for meat consumption, guys. It has been a while I haven't done any upload on this channel, and I know some of you have been wondering what is going on with Farmer Freak, guys. It has been a very busy journey for me, and uh, that is why I find lesser time to do videos. But from now henceforth, I will begin to bring you updates and begin to bring you uh, informative and educative uh, information so as to succeed out there as a farmer, guys. Today, I want to talk about uniformity. Just as the word suggests, uniformity, it means something which is of the same size, height, color, and uh, whatever you can think of when it comes to sizes, okay? Uniformity in poetry farming is very important because it determines whether or not you will be profitable or you will be in losses. When you joke with uniformity, you might end up raising these brillas and then get to a point at the stage of marketing and then everything will fall back at you. And you will sit back and see that you will be at a loss instead of profit so uniformity is very important and on this one i'm going to be sharing with you some tips techniques and strategies in order to achieve uniformity in your flocks so that you will be at a profit if you look at these birds very keenly you will see that a few of them are bigger than others that is what we are talking about today. And how can we as farmers manage and achieve uniformity, guys? Stick around to the end of this video. As you know, this is Farmer Freak. This happens to be our fourth batch. Today being, uh, today being the 30th of April. 30th of April. It happens to be our fourth batch, guys. Like you know, we run uh, simultaneously. Uh, two badges at a time, we give them a space of three weeks each uh, of 1,500 birds each, guys. And uh, these ones you are seeing just now, they are, this is your day 14, guys. Uh, so barely two weeks. And I can say they aren't doing just bad. I'm going to be sharing with you tips, techniques and strategies to achieve uniformity. And this uniformity, you have to achieve, you have to try to achieve uniformity at their very earlier stage when they are still in their brooder. Because the moment they leave the brooder, after three weeks, 21 days, for those of you like me brooding for 21 days, to achieve that uniformity becomes a little difficult, okay? Now looking at this bird just now, you will see that others are more bigger and healthier than others so you might be wondering what is the problem what am i not doing right why are other birds healthier heavier and more bigger than others that is what we want to talk about in this video now let us say let me tell you why uniformity is important number one your birds are going to look healthily and they're they are going to look the same in shape, size, and height. Uniformity, okay? Yeah, if we needed to add color, we could. But uh, we will not talk about color, right? Now, the second very most important factor of achieving uniformity in your flock is marketing, guys. Especially for those of us who are raising uh, a huge number of these Brilla birds. Uh, we are not selling them directly to the final consumer. We always bring in these market ladies, I will call them these retailers, who serve as middle people between we the farmer and then the final consumer. When they come to your farm to pick birds, to buy birds, they always go for the bigger ones. Now, once they select the bigger ones, the smaller ones are left back. Now, what you have to do as a farmer, you have to feed them again. In spite of whether they are 45 days or not, you still have to feed those smaller ones to achieve the marketing size. Now, look at these two birds, okay? You see the small one just passing just now? 
I'll take another example here. Let me show you. This one look a little cranky. Okay, let me put those two. Look at these two birds there. You will see that they are not uniform, okay? You see the one walking past just now. I was trying to draw some example, but it's walking past, okay? So when those women come, they are going to pick the healthier, bigger, and uh, the smaller ones will be left back. Now, what you have to do, you will not leave them start, right? Because your goal is for them to grow bigger so that they can carry them, so that you can sell them, so that you can remove them from the farm. So in so doing, you will still need to feed them. Now, feeding them doesn't necessarily mean when they grow much more bigger, you will be selling them at an expensive price. Most of the times, from my experience, you will feed them, no matter how much you feed them, you will still be selling at the same price as when you sold the bigger ones, okay? So, in so doing, you realize that you are spending more to grow the smaller ones which were not uniform. You are spending more, cutting out of your profit, and that is the danger when it comes to failing to achieving uniformity from the early, very early stages. And I'm going to be sharing with you some factors that will help you to achieve this uniformity and how that, that will also help you put much more money in your pocket as profit because you will have to uh, worry less about uh, some are bigger, some aren't bigger. I have to feed the smaller ones before I can sell them off, okay? Now, factor number one. Factors that determine flux uniformity and how to achieve uniformity, okay? Uh, let us start with the breed. Now, how best do you trust the breed? Uh, I mean the source, the source of these flocks, okay? The source of the flocks, you have to go in for a very popular breed, very popular supplier in your area. You want to ask other farmers how long they have been dealing with this supplier and the, how has it, their bird been uh, 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 behaving and performing. Uh, should you want to get started, this tip is for complete beginners who are just uh, starting out, please get to other farmers in your area and get to know which company are the best in your area, most popular ones, not just popular, but how are their flocks performing? Because uh, most of the problem arises from the breed, from your supplier. If the breed isn't good, you will not achieve good and healthy bed, okay? You will fail on uniformity. Second factor is your brooder. Now, you have just picked up these day old chicks, you have separated them from their mama, and now you, have, you, you are the father, you are their mother, you have to produce them heat, you have to make sure they have the right temperature in order to perform better. So you shouldn't joke with their heat, with their brother. You have to make sure they have sufficient heat uh, which is able to help them sustain the changes of temperature. So your heating room should be the best, okay? I have videos where I have talked about how to set up your brooder, how to prepare to, 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 to collecting or to receiving your day old chicks from day one to day seven. I'll leave links in the description at the top comment of this video. Go watch those videos if you're just getting started. Again, let me just take a second to say, most of you who have been watching my videos, you aren't subscribed to this YouTube channel. That's the only thing you say. Uh, you can say thank you for producing content like this because it really takes time, guys. So you want to subscribe, turn all bell notifications on so that you don't miss out on anything, okay? So first factor on achieving uniformity, like I said, make sure that you are getting your birds from a reputable hash, hashery, okay? A popular hashery in your area. If you are not sure, please ask other farmers around. They are going to tell you and they are going to recommend best hasheries in your area. Second factor is your heating source, your, your, your brooder. You should make sure that these birds should have good and adequate heating 
for at least day one to day 10, okay? Consistent heating for at least day one to day 10, okay? I usually heat them for from day one to day 10 and then I reduce on the heating. I only heat during the night. So during the day, you can see me, I have to take the tarpaulins up a little so that they should be a bit ventilated. That is why you see them jumping all around and it is looking just awesome. Third factor on achieving uniformity, of course, this you might have heard it and I will say it again, is water. Consistent availability of clean water, guys. These birds, they drink water a lot and uh, all around them should be water okay you can see water right here and within another mean another meter right there you can see another big drinker you can see another drinker right there there is another one here so all around it's water wherever they go around in the brooder in the pen they see water and they drink water a lot okay so uniformity water also helps a lot the fourth factor is feed feed again i have made videos on feed formulation teaching you the different uh, stages of their life and what feed you should administer to them and if you have watched that video again i'll leave the link in the in the description of this video feed also plays a lot when it comes to achieving uniformity okay the richer your feed like i said in pre in my previous videos you should kick start them with a very good feed like a pre-starter uh a pre-starter or you can go in for starter if you think the pre-starter is a little expensive so go in for richer feed which is able to boost their metabolism system to boost their immune system at the early stages of their life accompany it with vitamins okay vitamins with good feed it's going to help them to eat much okay uh, i use feed which comes with appetizers okay so they have appetite to eat at all time uh, around the room you will see all in these feeders and feeders and feeders another thing talking about feed is the placement of your feeders also counts a lot okay now you must make sure that the proximity of one feeder to another it is the same i usually just put them on a straight line as you can see just now you will see the proximity it is like i use a tape or a meter to measure because i want them to have easy access and equal access to feed all of these things help a lot for you to achieve uniformity in your flocks okay so i have talked about the first factor was getting your birds from a reputable hatchery second i talked about your brooder providing adequate heat for at least the first 10 days consistent heating and then i talked about uh, uh, a water and i talked about uh, making sure that you provide them vitamins in that water and then i talked about feed uh, starting them off with very good uh, uh, boasting feed that is going to boost their growth, okay? And then, let's talk about medication. Now, depending on your hash rate, depending on your breed, different breeds have different, uh, I would say that uh, when you know your breed, okay, you will know what medications go with your breed. Like for me in, in Central Africa, Cameroon, if I am taking, uh, for example, from Sokaf, I know that a bird coming from Sokaf company, they are very fragile when it comes to diseases. So they go along with medication. So before even arriving my farm, I have my magic box ready for them already from their day one to day 45 of their age. Now, this medication help them a lot to achieve that uniformity also, right? Now, uh, alongside medication, good feed, water, getting your beds from a good breed, providing them adequate and consistent 
uh, at least day one to day 10 heating. And then next factor will be hygiene and sanitation, okay? Uh, biosecurity, okay? Now all of these things, when you maintain them, when you put them in practice, you will see that your birds will start becoming healthier and achieving uniformity. Now look at these ones right here. Uh, I like when they feed and you can see this part of their body coming out like this. You can see the anus looking so fresh and, and healthier. It tells me that they are doing better. They are doing good from their feed. The feed is good and everything is working perfectly fine, guys. Failure to achieving uniformity uh, at the very early stages in their life, you might fail when it comes to your marketing strategy. Uh, I will take, for example, and I'm going to show you my, uh, for, uh, my, my, my former badge, which is currently going out right now. I also had 1,500. Let me just stand here because this tarpaulin just separate my brother from my bigger pen. From my bigger pen, sorry. Okay. Look at this. So these birds you see here, uh, the remainder from my 1,500 birds, uh, I think we still have here like uh, 350. Uh, this is your day 40, this is your day 49, no 48, sorry, day 48, uh, the rest have gone, you can see the other side, it's already empty, so it means within three days we have sold like, is it eight to 900 or something, if I'm not mistaken, and these ones you see just now are the smaller ones, okay, because we failed at the very early stages, to achieving uniformity. You can see that one just walking past just now. Now we failed at the very early stages to achieving uniformity. Now what happened is they stay back. Those women come and they don't pick them, right? Because they're only looking for healthier birds to take to their customers. So what we have to do next is to feed them more, spend more money on feeding, in order to achieve the market desired weight or the market desired size so that we can sell them off so just imagine if these birds were of the same size uh, today being day three or day four which we started our marketing they would have all gone now what we would have been doing now is to clean in our uh, pen disinfect and then waiting for our new incoming batch right here so you see that failure to achieve uniformity waste your time it makes you spend more and then it gives you more work to do okay uh another thing the business become a little more slower than usual so take these tips in consideration and then put them all in practice and uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section uh, i'm going to get back to you almost instantly and don't forget be a part of this family and i forgot to tell you one thing guys because i have tested the waters i have tested the market i've got good news for you we are increasing our number okay so in a week from now, we are bringing in a new batch because by then these ones must have been 21 days and they will be going to the bigger pen right there and we will be receiving a new batch. And this time what we plan to do is to increase the numbers to 2,000. And then we will go from 2,000 to 2,500 and possibly 3,000 guys because we know that the demand is high out there the demand is high out there and the only thing we've got to do is to raise up healthy looking birds for meat consumption worrying less about the marketing because when you raise up good and healthy birds there are always people out there to buy them i hope you find some value here leave me a thumbs up 
and let me know your uh, opinions in the comment section. Thank you.